Yo, what's going on everyone? Um, back on the element, I need to, I need to fix it. Uh, so with, I know you guys that have elements totally understand what's going on. The bushings, element bushings are the worst. Uh, this thing, it squeaked for a while. I thought uh, maybe it was those upper control arms, those adjustable ones. So I went on ahead and, well, I bought some new ones just, just in case. And come to find out, it's all my bushings. So when I went back to get a wheel alignment, they looked at all the bushings and was like, nah, no, nah, we we're not doing a wheel alignment on this. So I have to upgrade it. Now I posted on Instagram about Sabre bushings from, they are a company out of, the main company is out of Russia. And then they have another facility in Canada. That's the, where I bought them from. And the whole bushing kit for the rear, and I'm gonna show them to you guys. I think it was like uh, $280. All the bushings, every last one of them. Uh, I, except the upper control arm. Uh, you know, the, the upper one that's on a chassis? That one, I didn't order, but you can order that one. I think it's like $6. And the uh, front, for the, all the bushings up front, I did order those two just in case. Those was only a hundred and, I think $119 uh, with shipping. So that's not bad for, uh, for polyurethane instead of rubber. So what we're gonna do today is pretty much try to take as much as part as possible, but I know I'm not gonna be able to get all of it done because it gets dark pretty fast and it's already cloudy right now and it may pour down. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna finish it today, but if I don't, it'd be a two part video, which is not a problem. So let me show you guys the, uh, the uh, bushings. All right, so this is, this is the, the part of the lower control arm that, that technically you can't replace, but this is a replacement here. Now, only way I found how to, basically how to remove it, um, well, let me, let me jump back. Now, <laughs> I did the other side already because it actually took me two days to do it. And I was just running into problems, not knowing and not having the right tools. So I went on ahead and picked up the tools today so I could do this a little bit easier and try to get it done a little bit faster. Now, I don't have a press, which are really neat, but I have something better next to that is one of them little hand press, ball joint pushers, whatever you call it. Um, I'll show it to you guys, but this one, this one here is, uh, this one was a, a little bit of a challenge getting in. This is the, the lower control arm, and I don't know if you guys are familiar, where it has this part here. And they go from this side to this side. And uh, yeah, I will show you guys how to put this in, but that's this one here. And then we have uh, the, the lower knuckles. These are lower, lower, lower knuckles. This is for the, let's say the rear of the lower knuckles and this is for the front here. Then I have the top of the knuckle. This is that bushing. And let me take this one out so I'll give you guys a closer look. Let's see if it focus in on that. Uh, apparently not, but that's it there. No more rubbers, all polyurethane. And this one here, it goes, um, you know that arm that sticks out? <laughs> I don't know what it's called. It's, it has th three bolts and then it sticks out to the main chassis. Uh, that's what this one is for. I'll show you guys. And I ordered, I went on, even though the uh, sway bar bushings I have, I, I, those are actually Honda bushings I brought brand new. So I may end up just keeping them or somebody wants them, but I had got the polyurethane ones. I don't know if you guys can see that. Polyurethane. So I got those too. So it'd be nice and snug. And I got the ones for the front as well. So that's pretty much it for that. And we're just gonna go ahead and pull it off. Now, like I said, I did the driver's side already 
And one other thing that I have to do is go to the dealer and get new uh, lower control arm bolts, the rear bolt, the one that's adjustable for, for, uh, for when you get a wheel alignment. Now, that made me think about something here because that bolt was seized. So how did you do a wheel alignment if my bolt was seized? Because you didn't. <laughs> you didn't. That bolt was seized, rust, solid. I mean, I hammered, heated up, hammered, and it's the adjustable bolt. Um, it's the bolt that actually uh, adjusts the camber, not the camber, but the toe on the, the rear. And it didn't move. And I, I heated it up, hammered it, and I heated up so I heated up a lot, and I just let it sit. And then once it cooled off, pow, it popped right on out uh, after using a, a two pound sledgehammer. But the bolt, destroyed. <laughs> it's destroyed. The nut, I, yeah, it actually grew three times bigger because I was hitting it so hard. So I have to go to the dealer and get those, get those parts. And I'm, I might as well just go ahead and replace both. Uh, I think the bolt was like $6 and the nut was 98 cents. So I'm just gonna go ahead and order both of them so they can be perfect, brand new, adjustable. So once I get this element all together for suspension wise, it should be perfect. Uh, I did, I had to, this is a third time. I don't know what it is. Maybe because I'm buying, I don't know. I actually, I have bought the, the most expensive uh, tie rod ends AutoZone sale and they, they went bad already. I think they've been on there for maybe, maybe about six months. Not about four. No, about four months, and they went bad. I don't know the, if the lift have anything to do with it, but I don't know. But I went on ahead and bought some more. And uh, and now that I the ones I bought, it only had like a, I think it only I think it was still on a warranty actually. Oh no 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 no. No, I take that back. That was for that was from a, another car from a CRV. I had a lifetime warranty. Um, so the ones I had bought before came with the kit, and so I had bought some more off of, uh, Amazon, and yeah, those was the worst ones. So when I bought the ones from AutoZone, they have a lifetime warranty. So if they go out, not a big deal. Just go put some new ones. <laughs> All right, so let's get started on taking this wheel apart because I got a lot to work to do. All right, so I got the wheel off, got the car jacked up and everything. I kind of jacked the car up enough just to take the wheel off and then I lower it back down and put it on jack stands. Now, one of the things I wanted to tell you guys is this is very hard work uh, changing bushings if you guys ever changed them before. I think I'd rather pull the engine out, rebuild it and put it back in if I didn't have to do bushings. I mean, granted, I could pay somebody to do it, but that's how I roll. Uh, Cause something like this would probably be in the thousands. How hard it is, and how, and re, and doing every last one of them, and doing them to my standards, because I kind of like to clean everything off and not just put it back together, looking extremely dirty. So, besides that, let's go ahead and finish pulling everything off. Now, when I did the other side, uh, I did not disconnect the e-brake. I'm not sure, if, I mean, I had a, it was a little bit of hard time doing it with the e-brake connected. So I think this time I'm, I may take it apart. But I remember doing the shoes, the brake shoes before, and it was a pain. It was an absolutely pain. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna go ahead and do that or not, but we shall see. Uh, so the first thing I wanna do is get the brake pads and a, a rotor off. And then we'll start taking a loose the uh, lower control arm and basically in the upper control arm just to remove the hub from the lower arm so we can keep going. And if we have, depending on how, how it goes, I want to do the sway bar uh, bushings too. So let's get on it. Now I had mentioned uh, 
about the bolt I have to replace and that's this one here. So I had loosened it up yesterday just to see if it, it's gonna do the same thing and it seemed like it is. Uh, so I took this off. Is this takes off and then this is supposed to slide off. Other side it didn't slide off. I actually had to uh, actually had to beat the crap out of it. So I'm hoping that I could put this on and maybe tap it again and see since there's no load on it that it if it'll come off. All right, so. I got most of the bolts uh, broke loose. I got the rotor off, and uh, I guess I guess I could pull the axle. I'm gonna pull this out first. And lower the axle. Pull the axle out. Ugh. Oh, there goes the light. out the way so all the bolts are out except the strut the coilover and this should have came out because it's nothing wedging on it right now so I'm gonna give it a love tap here nope So, let me try my air chisel. This is one of the tools I picked up today. Uh, $44 at Home Depot. I, I, I got I have veteran discount, that's about it. But uh, if you follow uh, one, of, one of the guys I talked to on YouTube. Um, yeah. Once again, that bolt, I can't get it out. So uh, I'm gonna pick back up tomorrow because it's a little late right now and I don't wanna be out here uh, banging, uh, you know, on this car and people just getting off of work and everything. So we'll pick back up tomorrow. All right, so I wanted to continue working on the element today. Uh, unfortunately, it's raining. So I'm gonna try to work on as much as I can. Uh, and it's blurry, all right, I'm blurry. So I'm gonna just work <laughs> right here in this little, this little area right here, cause I can't pull this car out. And yeah, I definitely can't pull this one out because that's in a way. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna work right here. If that's okay. Yes, it is. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna show you how to get that uh, this part off right here and also this um let me see if i can point to it uh, i can't find it but you know what i'm talking about so let's go get started on it Just like that. <laughs> so, I guess when they made this, it's uh, it's it's the same way uh, kit that I have. It went into each other, and as you can see here, these are 
two pieces that went like that. That's basically just enclosed. So, and I shouldn't be able to turn that with a screwdriver to break it loose. So that's an indication that it was already, it was already damaged. Um, so that's what one of the parts of my car sounded like a school bus. And uh, the other thing is that that's why nobody changed these unless, now you don't have to do what I'm doing. You can buy the whole A-arm with this already in it and in place, brand new. But I wanted polyurethane and nobody has that. So uh, 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 Sabre has it, but you have to put it all together. So the next one I have to remove is that one there on the end, this one. All right, so for this part, I have the uh, Sabre polyurethane bushing here. It's just sitting here. So it's just sitting here. And this I won't hammer in. I will actually use the, the press to try to press it in. Uh, let me see here. Uh, got this side. So I need to take this out. Be a close up, see if it'll focus, and that's pretty much it. I gotta put the cap that cap thing back on this here. I don't know why they have this on there, it doesn't do anything, kind of weird. It's all nice and in there. And I won't, it doesn't ask what side those ridges go on, these ridges here. I just, I just put them in the inside. I think it'll be okay. So now it's time to tackle the other end here, which is a little bit harder. All right, so I've got it somewhat started. Let's see if I can push the rest of it in there without it flipping out like a dead fish. the other side already. Yeah, it's hitting the other side.
and then it'll auto pop <laughs> itself on the other end. So clean up some of this grease. So it won't look too bad. All right. Now the second thing we need to do is put on a pineapple slices. I'm 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 a uh, copyright that pineapple slices for the uh, lower control arm for saber. <laughs> All right, so I like to put a little bit of this ground brown grease on the end of here, so it'd be easier. Now, I don't have a, like I said, I don't have a press, and I really can't press it with that, because uh, it's not gonna work. So I'm just gonna hammer it in, and uh, hope for the best. So, let's start on this end first. Pineapple slice on here. And then try to get this as in here as much as possible. Okay. Then I'm going to take this pineapple slice and put it on this end. Uh, no, I didn't do that before. There, let me pick this up. Put it here. That's in there, there. Now I have to put this side. And try to get them lined up as straight as possible, if you can. Let's see, that's what the other hands come in at. Trying to keep my pineapple straight. Alrighty, and that's it. That's it right there. And that's how you put those in with the bare amount of tools. <laughs> like, I hardly have anything to me. Most people are like, oh no, you got plenty of tools. No, nah, not to me. I don't have enough. All right, now I'm back on the, the knuckle. Uh, we got three bushings we have to take out here. Uh, this one probably is so bad, I probably could pull it out by hand. Let's see here. Yeah. Uh, so you're not supposed to be able to do that. <laughs> at all uh, I wish the rest of them go that easy but unfortunately uh, they're not let's do this you're not supposed to be able to do that uh, knock knock this out okay screwdriver This is, this is a pain. This is a pain on this one. Because I don't have anything this small in circumference to push that out. All right, so I had to get old school just a little bit and burn this one out. Uh, this one here, uh, the hole for this one, I had to actually use my uh, air chisel. I had to use that to get this one out. So what I'm going to do with this one, and I had, I did the same with this one. I had cut a, uh, a relief cut. So I'm going to have to do with this side too. I'm going to have to cut a relief cut in it in order to get it out. Right now it's extremely hot. 
but it's all right. It's enough to uh, start the cutting process of uh, getting it out of there. Let me see if I can move it a little bit closer so you guys get a better idea for you, for the ones that don't know. And uh, so basically what I'm gonna do is cut a, a section, the, the inner part. I'm gonna cut one section here and another section somewhat fairly close so to relieve the, uh, the bushing. this and there you go easy peasy so yeah just cut a line in there and just peeled that back and that'll release it from being a death grip and the walls and get scarred up that bad. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just clean these up really good so the next bushing won't be so hard to go in. All right, that's it for that one. Uh, gotta move on to day three, four, one of that, uh, I'm not sure, it's, it's, it's raining. Uh, so pick up next time. Good morning, morning, morning. So back on the element. Um, so let me just explain. Changing the bushings and everything on this car was extremely hard. I, I mean, the worst that I ever done. It was, it was really bad. Um, the last video of uh, me power washing the driveway the uh, element was actually at Firestone again, trying to get the wheel alignment. Now, um, the last video I left off, uh, it started raining when I started doing the, uh, trying to finish up the bushings. And I had some other stuff pop up this week that I wasn't expecting whatsoever, just like life itself. Um, I had to get a new air conditioning unit and they needed to get to the uh, fuse box over there to change some stuff. So I had to put the, I had to hurry up. It was, uh, it was probably like four in the morning because they was gonna be there, at, be here at eight. And I had to jump in there, put the element, finish it up, and I didn't record anything. I had to finish it up really fast and try to get it to the uh, alignment shop. And then I had to get the Civic out and my Roadrunner out in order for them to work on it. And do and then do everything else. So I got I got the element back. Um, mostly everything is done. I still have the uh, uh, saber bushings for the uh, sway bar to put in. So we're gonna put those in this morning, and that'll be it for that. Now I did order the the complete suspension kit for the front. That will probably be here. I think it's at Friday. I think it was. I think it would be here Friday but um i had just had so much stuff going on in the last couple weeks that uh I, I i may need to get away for a while uh it's just a lot of things i was just overwhelmed um actually uh these couple weeks ago well this week and last week just stuff coming from the left and the right and um yeah i need <laughs> i need a break i need a mental break <laughs> because it's yeah, I know you guys, some of you guys probably know how much air conditioners cost. Yeah, that is a, a, a big blow.
um, I didn't think we we need the AC right now but the heater part was uh, you could smell gas because everything was it was just old unit so I went on a, we went on ahead and just uh, got a new one besides that other than that the element is it's doing very good as in driving uh, before the lineman I used to let go of the steering wheel and it would just jet to the right or it, it depends how I felt that day sometimes it'll go left I I don't know what was going on with it and actually it was most uh, and was doing that was causing that was some the back um, I thought it was the front so I kept changing this and moving that and it wasn't the front whatsoever it was actually the back was guiding it and uh, I didn't know I kind of know it it you know helped the car steer straight the uh, the back suspension but I didn't know that much um, so this thing sounded like an angry freaking seagull <laughs> when I drive away or some or hit a bump I mean it was screamed the the suspension when it you know drops down to come up it was bad it was like that actually since I had it since I got it and it was uh, oh, it was just terrible and I got tired of hearing it and it was like really loose like remember I kept saying it's like a school bus and now with the Sabre bushing kit it is absolutely rock solid I mean it's not a hard ride whatsoever it doesn't squeak it feels like a new car per se, <laughs> per se. Uh, but it does it feels really really good so I got everything down here to uh, to uh, put those bushings on and that's pretty much it I think that's it because I'm watching the rest of the video you should probably see some what I did but um, I'm gonna try to now the the front doesn't have that many bushings whatsoever I think it has like four or three or four I don't know but the back had one two three four uh, I, I was yeah I say four five 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 it has five and I think the front only has three if I'm not mistaken I think it only has three because the upper it doesn't have an upper a arm because it's it's held by the uh, the uh, the uh, shock uh, the coilover or whatever the spring so it's all uh, the upper part so you just have the lower control arm which is a bush in the front bush in the back and already changed the ball joints and the tie rod in so that's not a problem there and now they don't even they uh, Sabre doesn't sell those parts they only sell the the main bushings so if you guys thinking about doing this like I said it's 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 hard work if you have somebody that could do it for you I will I me personally I will buy it uh, for a full bushing kit polyurethane I say about $300 uh, maybe 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 about 320 depending on um, what else you want to do to it like if I have the sway bar the bushings are the Honda I bought brand new Honda bushings but uh, I want to use a saber so I'll probably just save those if or something or or somebody locally wants them I can give it to them but I'll probably save those oh and I changed the um, the rear camber bars you know the blue ones I had so those were actually okay nothing wrong with them and this whole time I thought it was them squeaking not at all and I had and I had replaced them and I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have done it but I had I was like well screw it I'm just gonna replace them and put some other kind on there so I did that but the ones I have was uh, it's actually fine um, so I probably saved those hopefully I can get another element um, and, and you know use those parts but let's go ahead and put those uh, sway bar bushings on all right so you kind of don't need to <clears throat> uh, jack the car up at all especially when it's lifted like this um, but if it's not then yeah you'll have to jack it up to uh, to get under it and this is so simple to uh, replace
have the saber. I don't know what this grease is, but this is some good stuff. It is some really good stuff. I have more, more of them, but uh, I don't, yeah, it's really, really good. But they, I didn't take these apart yet, and I guess they didn't cut a slide and slice in them. Huh. I wonder if they want you to take the whole thing off and slide it over. Because the OEM ones, it has a, it has a, a slice in them. Hmm, should I cut them? Should I cut them or what? I don't want to take the whole sway bar off. I think I'm just going to cut them. Yeah, I'm just going to cut them. So now, out of all that work, you see those little yellow parts? That's all you see from the whole kit. <laughs> I said keep that grease in there. Ah, it does say cut it. <laughs> Look, it said cut the bushing. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says cut, cut the bushing. Uh, kinda. I think you guys kind of can see it. Yeah, there we go. Cut the bushing. That's crazy. Um, I'm psychic. <laughs> All right, let me get, get you guys a closer look under here. Let's see here. So that's the, the bushing here. And then that's the new control arms up there. And yes, you see a lot of yellow marks. It's because um, I marked everything. Oh, and I had to get new hardware, bolts and everything, because they were seized. Let me show you the other side. So this is the other side here. Let me see if I can take you guys under. My camera's kind of big. So you can see the front part of those. Uh, if it focus, there we go. And I don't think you're gonna be able to see the other yellow bushings under there. I don't think you guys are gonna be able to see that. No, you're not gonna be able to see it. Uh, so, that's pretty much it. Now, I wish that they made, um, uh, what is those, uh, golly, what's the name of them? These uh, uh, dog bones, I wish they made those out of polyurethane. I think it'll, I think it'll work out really good if they did. Let's see here. I don't think you guys can. So yeah, those, those right there. I wish they made those just, the, you know, like a replacement cover there. But they don't. And I, they don't make motor mounts either. It'd be nice if they did, because that'd give a. You know, make it a little bit stronger. All right. All right. So that will do it for that. Um, I'm sure some. I'm pretty sure somebody gonna have questions on it. Please, please ask them. Um, I like helping people, and that's even part of my day-to-day uh, -day job is uh, helping my technicians make sure they can get their job done and they don't know how stuff works I'm here for them I, I, I don't know if you guys know but I do work for uh, ADT and, um, and we also have partners with Google so I'll do a lot of work with Google as well 
uh, and with the products. So uh, that's a little back end of me <laughs> on my story. But like I said, I am going to take a break for a while. It's hard. It's hard, guys. I don't know. Some of you guys may know um, how hard it is to do YouTube and do your day-to-day -day job and uh, and other things that's going on in my life. So I'm just going to take a little, just a, just a little, just a little break. Uh, maybe a week, uh, a week or two, but just taking a little break. But I am happy the way the element is right now. I am ecstatic. It's like a new car. A new super bucket yeah it's a bucket but I'm, I'm getting there I'm getting there as uh, soon as I get the uh, front suspension done it'll be complete I also have a new engine for it and transmission is still good to go rear is still good to go I do want to do exhaust um, even maybe an intake I, I need more power uh, I would love to do a turbo but I got enough tur I got a, another turbo project going on and I don't need an extra one right now <laughs> but I do I want, I want more power out of it because it's uh, what I do I just keep messing with stuff <laughs> so other than that until next time guys uh, next time I see you guys again please comment like subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later <laughs>